Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. And as you can see, you have five yoga addicts right here in front of you. We were here with you yesterday. We are here with you today. We'll probably be here with you tomorrow as well. Once you get into the mode, into the stretching mode, you really don't want to stop till you're fully satisfied, till your battery is fully charged. Think of your body as a battery that's totally empty. You start stretching, your chakras start moving, the inner heat builds up, and when you're fully recharged, you are totally ready to face your day. I would like to reintroduce to you, to my extreme right, Kofi Tufour. Did I say that yes. right? I'm getting the hang of it now. Kofi, welcome back to the show. Thank you. It was, you were amazingly sporting yesterday, seeing that you haven't done yoga very often previously. I think you were doing a pretty good job yesterday. Thank you. Any words of wisdom for our viewers now that they know you a little more? Anything yes, uh, it's good to do yoga, you know, keep the body flexible. You don't have to talk about yoga, though. You can tell us about yourself, too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anything else you'd like us to know about you? We'd um, like to know you. Yeah, um, you know, I'm doing acting right now and uh, also writing scripts. Oh, you write scripts, yeah, too? Yeah, a bunch of scripts, movies. Very nice. Nothing big yet, but, you know, get in there. Hey, we all have to start somewhere. That's exactly. amazing. That's true. But how did you feel yesterday when you went home after the I stretching? I felt great. You know, I felt great. Good. Yeah, I felt, well, I'm getting there, you know. Just got to work on my balance and some other things. You did One day great. at a time. You're one day at a time. That's a very nice, open attitude. And that's exactly, viewers at home, please keep that in mind. Don't try to get into the ultimate posture. Don't all try to be like Talisa. You don't have to be like Talisa and Josiane. You can stay with the rest of us, with the three of us here. We're all learning. We're all at different points in our lives. Not only that, we are at different points in our lives, but we're also at different points in our lives in different times of the day. Maybe we've just had a very long day. We could be tired. You could be at different ages. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm not going to tell you how old I am. I'm probably much older than everyone. Josian and I are about the same age, but you know, age makes a big difference too uh, with your flexibility. Maybe you started late in life. So Kofi, welcome back. It's Thank you really for great me. to have you. Josiane. Josiane is a very familiar face on our show. Everyone knows Josiane already. Is there anything else, Josiane? Continue practice, continue flexibility, continue to do good work, eat healthy, be good to yourself. Talking about eating healthy, you miss some amazing kale juice. But yes. you know what? <laughs> Talisa and I will fill you in, and uh, Indra too, will fill you in on that. Yes, welcome back to the show. Thank it's really you. good to have you back. I especially need you. And of course, now Talisa has almost taken over your role, but I need you guys to you need both. bring me back in line. <laughs> Indra Dudnath. Indra has been with us in a few episodes before. Indra, welcome back to Thank the show. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to tell our viewers? Well, I always thought that yoga is a waste of my time because it's so <laughs> little exercise and it's such a waste. I mean, it takes effort to get there and to dress up and go with your mat and what kind of exercise am I going to get? Right. And my first day here, I was like, oh my goodness, this is so hard to do. And you feel the stretch and yeah. afterwards you feel great. It's like an amazing workout. Exactly. So let's not judge anything. Let's not, just like we try not to judge people, let's not judge any exercise practice yoga doesn't have to be about spiritual stuff only it can be just about stretching mm -hmm. and you know what Indra we probably do all these stretches in our everyday lives mm -hmm. anyway we're gonna have an episode one day where we will show you you could be painting your toenails and you're doing a stretch right there here I am painting my toenails and I've got Paschimottasana so you could be doing everyday jobs mm -hmm. everyday tasks mm -hmm. and you're still stretching mm -hmm. so if you can move you can stretch. Talisa, welcome back to the show. Tell us a little more. Anything else? You always have wonderful words of wisdom. So tell well, thank us. you. That was very kind of you. Um, it's always a pleasure to be back here. It's always pleasure great to, have to you. be a participant of new um, people on the show. It's great to see you guys. Um, 
I know that I, I keep promising to show you a clip of yeah. my project. I believe I will have it for you the coming Monday. I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> yes, I understand so. And um, yoga to me is the most vitalizing to your body. It's so important to you to ignite your chakras, to have them cleanse every time you do yoga. Right. To release all that negative vibe, the judgment vibe, to release all the things of negativity usually come out through your poses. That's why you, in some poses you feel that tightness, you feel that agitation, you feel that 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 stress in your right. body. It's because you hold it all on those those feelings, those emotions, those, those bad intentions. So you have to realize that least that you have the opportunity to come to a mat to express yourself on many different levels, on many different ways to be in contact with yourself. Getting to the mat once a day is right. such a plus to you and your body and your mind and your soul. So it's like, it's such a, it's such a positive aspect of you trying to be healthy, you take an step of being healthy, letting go all the excuses to try to make yourself better. That is so beautifully put, Talisa. It's amazing. You're able to articulate everything that we all feel right here. That's beautiful. Very nicely put. Just have a quick question. Why do you have your jacket on today? I am a little chilly right now. It's a little too chilly in the studio for me today. <laughs> well, we, folks at home, if you decide to stretch with us, please know that we do have a lot of expensive equipment here, so we tend to keep the studios a little colder than normal. But... You can come in once you start warming off. Warming up, you'll want to take your jacket off if you want to. And I th keep an eye on Talisa today. She's going to get so stretched, she's going to peel off her jacket. But Talisa, I know you also recovered from a recent brief illness, right? Yes. You had, okay, so you're excused for today. <laughs> also, if you notice Josiane has socks, please remember she's got rubber dots under her socks. And if you notice, too, Kofi has taken his socks off today. Please understand that if you want to keep your socks on, be safe. Have something which will give you traction on the mat. The reason we practice bare feet, and this is uh, to also help Kofi understand, because Kofi is very new and Indra is fairly new to yoga as well, we have 72,000 nerve endings, nerves that end in the soles of our feet and the palms of our hands. So every time you make contact with the earth or with the mat, you will energize all the glands and organs that those nerves lead to. Hi, Keith. So just remember, it's important for you to feel the earth under your feet. Plus, we have all those acupressure points, which are really the nerve endings. So every time you make that contact, you're feeling a rush of energy going through your body. So we're all going to stand up. Josiane, you had a request for sciatica postures. We're going to focus on postures that will help you ease, prevent, hopefully totally eradicate any sciatic issues you might have. And as you know, the sciatic uh, nerves actually start, they originate from the base of your sacrum and they start dividing, go down the back of your thighs, all the way, back of your legs, all the way down to the back of your calves as well. So every time you sit on a computer for long hours, you're pressing those nerves, you're not letting blood flow through. Today what we're gonna do is a lot of forward folds. So let's stagger ourselves just a little bit. And let me get my little cheat sheet. Before I forget, I would like to thank our director today, uh, Danny Darrow. Thank you so much. I know you're flying solo today. Rich for this amazing lights and for the studio setup. Our viewers at home, our program, Yoga Express, airs Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35, 1.30 in the afternoon, Eastern Time. We have a postcard for you, fridge magnet for you, and a title, Yoga Secrets. So if you come on the show, you get all of this for free. We have a lot of support. Okay, we have enough jabbering today. Let's do some forward folds. Stagger ourselves. Uh, Kofi, you and Talisa might want to come back just a little bit so that we don't hit each other. Very nice. Heels are together, toes slightly apart, palms in front of your chest, elbows are raised. Now you want to keep your heels a little closer so that you want to keep your feet a little closer. Uh, that's it, Indra. Good. Now, inhale, bring your arms overhead, take your palms overhead. Now hold it right there for just a few seconds and then wiggle your biceps behind your ears. Tilt your pelvis forward just a little bit. Now we are gonna exhale, fold from the hip with a nice straight back. Exhale and fold. Try to get your fingers to your toes. 
viewers at home, if your fingers are not going to touch your toes today, that's okay. Place them at the ankles, at the calves. Try to avoid your knees. You don't want to push your kneecap back, so you don't want pressure. Hold it right there. Now, if you're already in the stage that Talisa and Josiane are, your whole palm may come down. Both your palms may come down on the floor. But if you are with uh, Indra, with Kofi and myself, you may have your fingers at your toes. Whatever you do, you should be able to feel a delicious stretch in the back of your legs, the whole of your back. I can hear you sigh, Talisa. How does that feel? It feels grand. Feels great, doesn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Hold it right there. Clasp your palms together. Keep your back nice and straight. Inhale, let's come up. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of a transition. Now, we're gonna turn to the left where you are in your position. Exhale, bring your arms out to shoulder height. Ah, tricked you, Talisa. Bring your arms out to shoulder height, palms are facing down, then bring your feet out about, bring your legs out about three feet apart. Turn your right foot out. Now this, in this posture, Trikon Asan, three is three corners corner, Trikon is literally three corners. Tilt to the right just a little bit, turn your right foot out, exhale, dip your right hand in front of your right ankle, left arm goes all the way up. Kofi, do you recall in yesterday's episode we did this posture? Yes, I did. Feels great, doesn't it? Yes, it should, sure does. Yeah. You should feel a wonderful stretch on the inside of your upper right thigh. Yeah, delicious oh. stretch. Yeah. yeah, doesn't it feel great? Mm -hmm. Let's inhale, let's come up. Turn your right foot in, turn the left foot out. <coughs> Look to the left. Now if you're fairly tall and you don't feel the stretch too much, you want to bring your feet out a little further apart because this particular episode is about back stretches. Tilt a little, lean a little bit to the left, Exhale, dip your left hand in front of your left ankle, right arm goes all the way up. Very nice, Indra, you remember to look up at your right arm. Hold it right there. Let's inhale, come up. Turn your left foot in, right foot goes out one more time. This time we're gonna transition two more postures. All three of these postures we've done in yesterday's episode. Bend, exhale, and bend the right knee Keep exhaling, dip your right arm in front of your right ankle, left arm goes all the way up, and take the arm all the way overhead. From Veera Bhadra, Brave Warrior, we went into Veera Bhadra Kona. Hold it. When we say hold, it's hold your posture, never your breath. Inhale, let's come up. Bring your arms up to shoulder height, straighten your right knee, turn your right knee in, turn your left foot out, Exhale, bend your left knee, and dip. See, everyone's totally hyped up. Keep dipping. Your left arm goes in front of your left ankle, right arm goes all the way up. Challenge yourself, take your right arm all the way overhead. Besides the compression on the left side, you'd feel a wonderful stretch on your abductor muscles, the outside of your upper right thigh as well. You feel that, Indra? Yes. <laughs> and along with that, the sciatic nerve on the right side gets a beautiful stretch when we fold it over. This way, of course, on the other side, we've got the stretch on the other leg. Inhale, let's come up. Straighten your left knee. Exhale, bring your arms down. Now keep your feet where they are because we're going to do another intense forward fold and Josian, I will keep what you suggested last time in mind. We'll do a little bit of a twist after we do that forward fold. I appreciate that every now and then you give me a wrap on the wrist. That's good, I need it. This time, bring your feet out just a little more and make sure you put your brakes on. When we say put your brakes on, we're talking about bringing your toes in. So bring your toes in so you don't slip. <clears throat> you wanna try your best to keep yourself safe. Now, inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height. We're going to get into a posture called Prasarita Padottanasan. Prasarita means widespread, Padottan is feet. So your feet are at a wide angle, your legs. Or in my school, they used to keep it simple, they called it Ugra. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms clasped together. In any manner you've been trained, you can cross your fingers over, keep your palms flat, or have your index fingers out. Hold it. Now, exhale and fold from the hip, keep it back nice and straight. Keep going down, place your palms between your feet. Now keep your palms and your elbows as close as you can, and then if you feel safe, you can bring your feet further out. Keep exhaling. 
keep exhaling and dip the crown of your head. You wow. don't have to touch the crown of your head to the floor today. And if you think today is going to be a little bit tough, you can always use a blush. Use it at the lowest orientation if you're almost there. If not, you could take, oh, the lowest would be right here and then midpoint, or you could go to the highest orientation. Make sure you make the connection. So touch the top of your head, either to the floor or to the block, whatever you have to help you make the connection. Hold it right there. You should feel a beautiful stretch on your adductor muscles in the back of both your legs. Now press with your palms, wiggle your feet a little closer, and then when you think it's safe to come up, take your palms off of the floor, clasp your hands together, inhale, come up with a nice straight back. Exhale and release. Now wiggle your feet a little closer, exhale and release your arms. Let's turn to the front to face the camera. Before we move on to the next forward fold, you just twist your torso, just move your upper body a little bit to the left and to the right to release any kind of extra tension you may have felt, you just want to be sure. You can take your hips with you. Just move around, relax a little bit. Okay, we're going to get into a posture. Josie, are you happy? I know you needed that, and you told, you yeah, reminded me of that. I really it's like good. that. Thank you. We don't want to do too many forward folds without getting some relief. Heels are together. We're going to get into a posture called Ardha Chandra. The posture we just came out of was called Ugrasan in my, and if you notice, Talisa's taking a jacket off, so her chakras are moving now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Talisa, if you're, if you're still cold, feel free if you want to keep it on, but I think you, you're, you're amazing, Talisa. It's really wonderful to watch you stretch. So now that your jacket is off, people, watch her, watch Josiane, and the rest of us are going to learn from these two dolls here. Now, heels are together, toes slightly apart, palms in front of your chest. Ardha Chandra is half moon. If you don't have your card in front of you, I'm going to share this. Inhale the arms up. Take your arms all the way up. Now, once your arms are up there, now if you keep your arms nice and straight, you get a bit of a stretch for your triceps as well. Wiggle your biceps behind your ears. Exhale, dip to the right. Inhale, let's come to the center. Now, before we go to the left, I want to point out where your stretch is coming from. Every time you dip to the sides, your whole body feels a stretch. Josiane, you feel that? Mm -hmm. Do you feel that right? And I know Talisa does too, and your postures are all amazing, very nice. When we dip to the left, you would feel a wonderful stretch on the right side of the body. We t dip to the right, you feel the stretch on the left side of the body. Exhale, dip to the left. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale and release. Now we are going to go one more posture. Actually, we probably could have gone directly into Kati Chakra. Let's bring our arms in front of our chest. Now Kati Chakra, a spinning wheel, which we took you through yesterday, also helps you stretch the sciatic nerves because when you take your hips with you, this time we're going to take our hips with us, you're stretching. Every time you turn to the right, you're stretching the left side of your legs. So feet are apart about six to eight inches, like Indra has it, like uh, Kofi has it as well, and make sure you put your brakes on. Even though this is not a balanced posture, you want to keep your feet inside of your feet paddling. Elbows are up. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale to the right. Swing your right arm out. Take your hips with you. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, swing your arm out to the left. Take your hips with you. Inhale back to the center. Exhale and relax. This time we only did one round of the twist, the Kati Chakra, because we needed to take our hips with us to feel that stretch. Now there is a balanced posture. There are actually three balanced postures. Huh? Do you want to go into those, Josiane? Sure. Or you want to skip them? You know what? With respect, because this was your choice, we'll skip the balance. I know you don't like them. I don't either. So we have a good excuse. Heels are together. Now one more time. Keep your heels together, toes slightly apart. Palms in front of your chest. Actually, no. This time we won't start with the palms. Yes, palms in front of your chest. Inhale the arms up. Take your arms all the way overhead. Now cross over and hold on to the opposite elbows. You want to make a nice connection. Now we're going to exhale and fold from the hip. Exhale and fold. Keep your back nice and straight. 
the insides of your feet are parallel to each other. That's when you feel that beautiful stretch. Stay where you are. You'll feel a wonderful, wonderful stretch in the back of your leg. So what's happening is your hamstrings, which protect the sciatic nerves in the back of your upper thighs, they get a wonderful stretch. Actually, the tendons under the hamstring, the cartilaginous material under the hamstrings, you feel the stretch. And that's when you have, you feel that wonderful endorphin release. You'll feel amaze, amazing at the end of the stretch. Hold on, <coughs> stay there. Let's inhale, come up with a nice straight back. Actually, no, let's proceed. Let's transition into the next one. Keep exhaling, place your palms about 16 to 18 inches in front of your feet. Take your left leg back and then take the right leg back. This posture again has two names that I'm aware of. In my school, we would call this Parvat a mountain. In North America, I understand it's called Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Adho is downward, Mukha is face, Shwana is dog. Downward facing dog. Coffee, you've been to a couple of yoga classes. Do you have you heard Twice. the reference to this posture? Twice. Um, Twice? No. Adho Mukha. Okay. Have you heard of downward facing dog? Down. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, this is it. Downward facing dog. Now try, viewers at home, if you're stretching with us, you cannot see our heels, but make sure that you try and at least attempt to bring your heels down to the floor, to the mat. Now if your heels don't touch the ground today, it's okay. Place a brick, a block, anything that'll help you make that connection. Now, <laughs> walk your feet closer to your hands. Keep walking. Let's bring our feet closer to the hands. That is a bit of an intense stretch, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Place your palms together, let's inhale, and let's come up. Exhale, and release. Now for two reasons, I did not transition into the next posture after this. We could have directly gone into Parsokona Namaskara. One reason, I heard uh, Indra sighing a little bit, and I was <laughs> hoping that she was not in pain. But the other reason, very frankly, I forgot. So <laughs> I apologize, we could have just transitioned. So let's take ourselves into that next part. Actually, let's skip the next one. Let's sit down. Let's all come down and seated position. Stretch your legs out in front of you. I didn't want you to be in pain, but very frankly, I also did forget. <laughs> that did feel amazing, didn't it? Yes. That's good. Now, extend your legs out. Actually, now, keep your right leg extended. Fold your left leg at the knee. <laughs> Attach the sole of your left foot, hi, Gloria, to the inside of your upper right thigh. Now you want to make sure that your right foot is flexed, so your right leg is extended. Turn to face, turn your upper body to face the extended leg. Now I'm going to stagger myself just a little bit. This posture is called Janu Sirsha. Janu is knee, Sirsha is head. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Clasp your palms together. Now you can, like we said, you can have your fingers out, all your fingers out, index finger out. Clasp it all the way over, that's fine. Now keep your back nice and straight, take a deep breath in. We're gonna exhale and fold over. Try to get your palms over your feet. Now Janu Sesha is head to knee. But if your head does not touch, if your forehead does not touch your knee today, that's perfectly okay. You should feel a stretch in the back of your legs. Now for me, I have a bit of an uh, optical illusion at my midriff, so my forehead is not going to touch my uh, knee today. But I'm okay because I still feel that stretch every day. You want to keep going a little deeper. Hold it. And also another thing to remember, when you hold on to your big toe, the big toe, the nerves in the big toe that end in the big toe are connected to your eyes, ears, nose, so you have... If when you put pressure on that big toe, you're actually helping your eyesight too. Let's clasp our palms together. Inhale. Let's come up. Keep your arms where they are. Keep your arms overhead. Now, let's see if we can switch legs. Bend your right leg at the knee. Now, I may need to use my hand a little bit. Bring my right foot closer to the inside of the upper left thigh. Attach the sole of the right foot. Now, extend your left leg out. Flex your left foot. Turn to face the extended foot. Exhale. Extend the leg, exhale, and fold. If your hands do not reach your toes, if you're not able to wrap them all the way around your feet or even hold on to your toes, it's okay. Place your hands at your ankles, your shin, even your knees. It's okay because you're in seated position. You're not going to push your kneecap back. Just keep pulling yourself forward every day. 
you should feel a beautiful stretch in the back of your left leg. Inhale, let's come up, clasp your palms together, come up with a straight back. Keep your left leg where it is. Extend your right leg out. <clears throat> the posture we're gonna go through now, go into, get into now is called Paschimottan or bird beak. Exhale and fold. In this posture, you have a wonderful occasion to hold on to your big toes. All four of us do except Josiane. Josiane's gonna hold because she's got socks on. She's gonna hold on to a whole foot. But remember, the big toes, the nerves in the big toes lead to the eyes. So any amount of pressure you put on your big toes is good for your eyes, for the optic nerves. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale and release. First, before we move on, how much time do we have, Danny? Oh, we're almost timed out. Give me some feedback, since we're almost timed out. Feedback. Feels, feels good, feels good. Feels, feels good, good, doesn't it? Are you Wonderful. happy we did the forward Absolutely. folds? Absolutely. Okay. I'm delighted. It also seems so simple, but yet it's, it's hard to do. Because yeah, it's a holding time. Yeah, the holding time. And you feel mm -hmm. the stretch. Yes. It's very, yeah. it's not that easy. And it's refreshing. When you go it's home, refreshing. you're going to be there. Right. It is it's refreshing. It's refreshing. It's refreshing. It's refreshing. Right? Kofi, I haven't heard anything from yeah, you. Yeah, it is Feel refreshing. good? He fell asleep. It is very, it is very relaxing. We hear the... Closing music. Danny, how are we doing for time? Do we have a minute to steal another posture? All right. You know what? I didn't hear him, but yes. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Wait, let's all come on our back. Let's come in supine position. We're going to try the plow position. First, we'll go into Viparita Karani and go right over into plow. So let's have, lie down with our heads to the camera. Danny Darrow, as director, thank you very much. Rich Bizial and Richard Swanson, thank you for the wonderful settings. Josiane is already up. Place your palms under your buttocks, <laughs> palms facing down. Inhale, lift your legs off of the floor. Make sure you keep your feet flexed. You should feel a wonderful stretch in the back of your legs. Now we're going to try a little bit of a tricky posture, and you can keep trying, try as much as you can. You don't have to go all the way in. Now, Danny is going to get the rolling credits in, so till he gets that in, we are safe. Oh, they're up now. Okay, inhale, lift your buttocks off of the floor. Use your hands. <laughs> now, <laughs> it's not going to be easy, but we're going to try. Not all of us will be able to get our feet over to the other side. We're going to just try. Hold your buttocks with your hands. <laughs> Do not move your head from side to side. Use your hands, Indra. Give it a shot. <laughs> That's okay. We'll do it next time. That's it. Beautiful. Place your hands under your buttocks. You want to hold your butt up. Yeah, that's it. Push your buttocks up. Very nice. Let's inhale and release. Keep your hands where they are. Do not move your head from side to side. Keep your head on the floor when you come down. Very gently release. Oh, I think we're all ready to go to sleep. Thank you, Danny. Is it safe to get off the mat or can we sleep? <laughs> oh, we better not go to sleep. <laughs> this is good to do after. It is after good. Let's now. just relax and do a little. Fold your knees into your chest because we're still rolling. Might as well enjoy ourselves and do a little bit of a sacral massage. Just move from side after to side. After the plow. Exactly, right? And after the plow, too, you can do a fish posture. Oh yeah, the fish. We should do the fish. <laughs> Fish. Okay, since the cameras are still there, let's go. Get our legs, extend your legs out in front of you. They're going to cut us off right now. Oh, beautiful. He's got that coming. Okay, bring your legs out in front of us. Keep your feet flexed. Palms are under your buttocks. Inhale, peel your chest off of the floor. Just your chest. Keep your feet and your legs on the floor. And just lift. So you, you, yeah, that's it. Thank you, Danny.